Hey people, Zarth Thwomp here, and welcome to episode 34 of Dual Destinies. Last time, we started Sasha's trial, cross-examined Dr. Crab, and now we're trying to prove that Orlo was in her tank during cleaning at the time of the murder. So anyways, let's go. Right, Dono, are you trying to tell this court that the perpetrator tried to kill the orca off to prevent a witness from talking? Do you really expect each expect to defeat me with that feeble attack? My sword has been drawn. I'm not about to sheathe my evidence now. Orcas have an, en have an enormous potential for intelligence. The possibility that Orlos could somehow manage to reveal the truth can't be denied. The culprit believed in this possibility, and that's why they tried to kill her. Dr. Herman Crab, you purchased the sleeping drug, didn't you? Whoa, wha what? Does this mean that the veterinarian tried to do away with the orca? Who but a veterinarian would no would bear know how to disguise an orca's death? He could even prevent the police from examining Orla's body. Why you? I love that orca. I love that orca. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you actually accusing me of trying to murder an orca? How dare you! You slander the no profession of veterinarianism! I kick you! Eek! He's kicking! My goodness! One could cut the tension in this courtroom with a knife! Yes, I admit to mercy that sleeping drug! However, it was subsequently stolen from my lab. That's such a flimsy excuse. It's the truth. What else can I say? Any one of the crew members could have injured my lab. I guess that weakens my evidence quite a bit. Besides, think about it for a minute. Who was it that treated Orla after she swallowed the drug? It was I! But as I recall, it took you quite a while to give that treatment. You didn't even come on your own. We had to go get you. Son of a gun, you just remember all sorts of little details, don't you, Mr. Lawyer? The orca pool and the lab are far apart. It's a little wonder he didn't know Orla's condition. Objection! Didn't know? That's highly doubtful. As far as they were, as far as a, ah, cannot talk today. As far apart as they were, Dr. Crab still had a way to know all about Orla's condition. The defense would like to submit evidence that the witness knew about Orla's condition. We're taking you down! We're ruining your life! The torpedo! Gah! You just had to bring that up, didn't you? With this advanced data system, surely you would have known Orla's condition. Objection. Wait just one minute. What is this torpedo? And why is there so much furry porn on this? Oh, good lord, man. Half of the, the memory on this is dedicated to just... Oh my... Why? Dr. Crab, how dare you bring a weapon of mass destruction to my courtroom? The Torpedo or Tele-Observational Real-Time Pertinent Data Organizer is a data system. Until yesterday, only Dr. Crab and Mr. Shipley knew about the Torpedo. It isn't, it isn't legally approved in this country, so it was kept secret from the police. It's illegal? Dr. Crab, I demand an explanation. Son of a gun, you and your big mouth, Mr. Lawyer. But just... Yeah, but just sniper with a stethoscope. This is precious. Yes, it's true. I'm using an illegal system to monitor the creatures at the aquarium. After all, our motto at the aquarium. It's not illegal if you don't get caught. The system uses sensors like these. And yes, there's one in the orca pool, too. The sensors send sound waves to the water to gather data on the creatures. If it finds abnormalities in their condition, the torpedo alerts me with a sound. Oh my goodness, how very high tech! But if it's illegal, I will not turn a blind eye. This matter will be appropriately dealt with at a separate time. Now then, Mr. Wright, please continue. With the torpedo, I'm sure Dr. Crab knows the danger Orla was in. But he made no attempt to come to aid her on his own. And the reason for that is that Dr. Crab wanted Orla dead. The torpedo didn't give me a warning message. That's why I didn't know there was anything wrong with Orla. The sensor in the orca 
Well, it wasn't working during the police's investigation. Objection. Can you prove that statement? Objection. What's with him? Ah, what was that burst just then? I guess this is, this is also high tech for Broski or Blackwell that's making him a little funny. Funny? Yes, I find this all very funny. With this, those sensors send sound waves through the water, correct? But what if there isn't any water? Then they wouldn't work. They would automatically switch off. I see. And where is the sensor in the orca pool located? I don't know. Jack is the one who attached it for me. You don't know? Then I will tell you. The police found a sensor just like the one you just showed us. They found it attached to the table at the bottom of the pool. Table? Do you mean the table in this photograph? That's right! Don't you get it yet, right, Dono? The table is on the skull rock side of the partition. It's affixed to the bottom of the pool and can't be moved. Oh, and so if the water was drained from the skull rock side of the pool... Precisely, without water, torpedo sen the torpedo sensor would not work. Witness, when did that sensor automatically switch off? Hang on, I'll look it up. The only times lately were during cleaning two days ago and the investigation yesterday. Of course, I knew the pool would be drained while they cleaned it. But I had no idea they drained it for the investigation. No one let me know. That's why I didn't know about Orla's condition yesterday. So Dr. Crab really did want to save Orla. <laughs> did you hear that right, Dono? Yes, the water can be drained without harm the orc if the partition is used. But if the water is drained from the skull rock side, the sensor turns itself off. If the sensor was always a, was always on except for during the cleaning and the investigation, it means there must have been water in the pool at all other times. It was never drained. In other words, no one but the defendant could have committed the crime. Ah! Order! Order in the court! This completely shares the defense's argument! Gah! But, but, but. The fact still remains that Orla was nearly killed with Dr. Crab's sleeping drug. Objection! But aren't you forgetting one important question? When was the sleeping drug given to the Orca? You're right. That hasn't been discussed yet, has it? The Orca pool is in the, it's the scene of the murder. The police were there all day yesterday. The only way to give that drug to the orca undetected is to put it in her food. Yesterday, someone gave the orca food during the trial. Someone did? I'm afraid I don't remember that. You don't remember? You're not that old yet, are you? It was the defendant. Sasha Buckler! Ah! Hmm... So that is the orca that Sarah's accused, is it? Aw, she's waving her flipper at us. Maybe she's cheering us on. Orla! Wish... Orla! Wish Phoenix and Athena luck! So your argument is that Miss Buckler is the one who gave the orca the drug? The prosecution's argument hasn't changed. Buckler made the victim fall to his death and then manipulated the orca to pin it on her. Still not satisfied, she further planned to kill the orca with the sleeping drug. Hmm, I didn't hear any reports of Dr. Crab beating Orla. Maybe he didn't have a hand in Orla's attempted murder after all. But is there anybody else who could have fed Orla besides Sasha? Hmm, if it's true the defendant is the one who fed the sleeping drug to the orca, then that place is even more suspicious on her than ever. Objection! The defense objects to the prosecution's claims. Well, well, you still haven't admitted defeat. Prosecutor Blackwell, I don't appreciate the way you only mention the parts that are convenient for you. Hmm. 
What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? The prosecution, fa the prosecutor failed to mention that Miss Buckler wasn't the only one to feed Orla. As you will all recall, there was another person who gave Orla food. Uh oh, you mean that person? Looks like Athena remembers now too. Congrats, Sasha. Time to celebrate. Go on, eat up. Oh, Mr. Wright, no! I don't want to believe it either, but we can't ignore the truth. Yeah, but just the thought of just Marlin stealing a bunch of sleeping pills from Krabs, Cra from Krabs' lab, and then basically proceeding to stuff each fish with a pill, just proceeding just to stuff them like party favors, because basically it, it's not like, it's not like Marlin could guess which fish he was haphazardly throwing the orca would consume. Trucy. Trucy has poisoned the water supply. Apollo. Azura came back with the dead. Simon. Rifle was the master on the entire time. Please recall when Orlo was found not guilty yesterday. Marlon Rhymes gave the orca a large quantity of food. If the sleeping drug was mixed in with the food, it could be given to the orca without arousing police suspicion. N now that you mention it, I do remember that flip-flopper feeding the orca. Objection! <laughs> so you remembered, did you? I see the time for a true sword fight has come. I call Marlin Rides to the stand. Mr. Lawyer, both Miss Orca Lover and Marlin Rides are important members of our crew. I don't want to suspect either of them, but I'm ready to accept whatever truth you find. Here, take this. That charm. It's the charm that matches the one Azura Summers had, isn't it? So you and Miss Summers were romantically involved, weren't you, Dr. Crab? You had a night of passion on the table after you bought Azura Miss Summers some electronic doodads and gizmos. What? No, uh, no, of course not. Sorry to disappoint you, but this doesn't belong to me. At the time, I thought it was Azura, so I grabbed it. But it wasn't hers. Now it's up to you, Mr. Lawyer, to figure out whose charm it is. I will. Thank you, Dr. Crab. After all, I'm interested in the outcome of this trial, too. Now then, please sign Marlon Rhymes the the window stand. What's going on? Why is it, what's everyone making that face for? I haven't been watching the trial and nobody's told me anything. Marlon Rhymes, you are under suspicion for the attempted murder of the Orca. I see. Well, if it's already out... M Mr. Rhymes, is he really going to admit it? Fine, I'll tell the truth. The truth. Sasha's lied to protect that orca. At 3.30 a.m. on the 20th, there was still water in the orca pool. The, the incident... Of, eh, sorry, cannot talk today. The incident happened before the orca was moved to the show pool. Orla killed the captain by bashing him 30 feet high and making him slam, high, slam into the water. So I thought the orca should pay the consequences. Now we're back to the orca again. I did not see that testimony coming. Now, just wait one minute. Yesterday, Orla was proven innocent. Besides, you said Orla was in the show pool during the cleaning. I didn't want to sell Sasha out. That's why I didn't tell the truth. But the fact is, all three of us, the captain, Sasha, and me, were cleaning the pool room. But Dr. Crabbe and Miss Buckler both said you were at the show stage. Well, the only thing Dr. Crabbe knew about the cleaning was what I told him. I didn't give him the whole, a whole lot of details either. Maybe he misunderstood. And Sasha's lying to protect the orca. She can't tell the truth. Sasha put blood on the skull rock herself to make a fake blood stain. I think it's pretty brave of her to let herself get arrested to protect the orca. Mr. Rhymes, how can you lie like that? It's the truth. Besides, wouldn't it be better for you if I wasn't lying? If the orca did it, you win your case. What? This is all very hard to believe. But if Mr. Rhyme's story is true, Miss Buckler would be innocent and the Orca would be the killer. And then we'd have the draw for the Orca! Meaning if we turned our backs on Orla, 
we could save Sasha. Having a witness lie to save your own client. What a dirty, underhanded tactic, right, Dono? Objection! You think I'm behind the circus of a case, Blackwell? You think I want this? You think I want to defend an orca and then go right into defending the person who hired me to defend the orca? You think I want this mess? Edgeworth called me last night. Edgeworth was upset. Why'd you do this to me, right? I have an ulcer the size of a plum in my stomach, right? This isn't healthy. I am going to die from the ulcer, right? And it's all your fault. Yesterday, the, or the defense proved Orla was not guilty. We have no intention of going back on our assertions now. What are you saying, Mr. Rutt? All you gotta do is admit the orca did it, and Sasha goes free. Isn't a lawyer supposed to act in his client's best interest? But that wouldn't be acting in her interest. Miss Buckler believes Orla is innocent. And we, of course, believe that Miss Buckler herself is innocent, too. Acting in the defense in the client's best interest is an important part of our job as lawyers. Using dirty means to win a verdict would destroy our client's faith in us. That's right. We believe in both Miss Buckler and all his innocence. We only ruin the lives of witnesses. Huh? I just don't understand how you can treat a human and an orca equally. Sasha or the orca, you can only save one of them. Ha ha ha. I don't know about that. I think I can save them both. All I have to do is just prove your testimony. Oh yeah? Then go ahead and try. I'll do just that. If I can't tear down his testimony, I won't be able to save both of them. I have to find a weak spot and start tearing. The truth. Hold it! What exactly do you claim Miss Buckler is lying about? Sasha put that blood sand on the skull rock and stuff herself as false evidence. She left fake traces of traces to try and save the orca. Objection. Witness, if you keep talking nonsense, I will seal your mouth shut. The defense supports the prosecution's idea. But Mr. Wright, my testimony helps your client. You ought to be happy. I want to save both Orla and Miss Buckler. I won't accept anything less. Now that I, now that that's understood, please continue with your testimony. Fun. Hold it. When the victim was killed, how much water was in the pool? It was before the pool was drained for cleaning, so it was full. You, so you went into the orca pool room and saw this yourself. Doctor Crab said you were at the show stage. Objection. But is it? But it's possible that Doctor Crab was misinformed or that he misunderstood. The witness already explained this. Why are you taking why are you taking this meaningless tack? If you want to play games, Taka here would be more than happy to play with you. Just as he plays with the worst whenever we we go to the prosecutor's office to give a report to Edgeworth Sama. Oh hey, Mr. Blackwell! Hey Taka! Taka, play with him! Help! Help! He's carrying me away! We'd better be careful how we press the witness. Taka's watching us like a hawk. Witness, continue. Hold it. So you're saying the incident took place before the cleaning began? Yeah, I guess so. The captain, Sasha, and I were going to do the clean together. It's much more efficient than trying to have just one person do it alone. In the defense's case, however, more lawyers simply means more lawyers, nothing more. What? You are one to talk? All you have on your side is a cantankerous bird. Talk or play with her? What about me? I'm up here all alone. Are you people done? Hmm. <laughs> you need the witness to keep you focused. For shame, I don't know. For shame. Hey, I was the one who kept my mouth shut. Anyways, the incident happened in the orca pool before the cleaning got started. Hold it! Can an orca even do that? Send a person flying into the air like that? Yep, of course. I've seen orcas bash and seal 60 feet into the air. So naturally, Ola could do that to the captain too. What a frightening thought, and you mentioned so casually, Mr. Rhymes. Well, what else can I say? It's the truth. Mr. Rhymes is claiming that Orla killed the victim by sending him flying into the air. 
But that, but would something like that even be possible in the Orca's room? There's something about that statement that bothers me. Uh, so you witnessed the moment the victim was killed by the Orca, is that right? Exactly! Hold it! And that's why you put the sleeping drug in Orla's food? Ahoy! Yo! 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 Ho! Ho! Sasha could be found guilty if we let her be! But if the Orca died, Sasha could go free! I thought the Orca was already dead. Sasha might tell the truth and free herself. It might seem cruel, but a man killing an animal has to be put down. The culprit must have tried to do away with Orla because she was a witness to the crime. But if Mr. Rhymes is the culprit, why would he try to protect Sasha? Hmm. I'm sensing some very complex emotions from Mr. Rhymes. I need more information before I can do a proper analysis. If I'm going to tear down his testimony, then I guess I have to present evidence. Of course we don't believe Mr. Rhymes' testimony. But he's suggesting the murder took place in the orca pool. Unless we can disprove that, we won't be able to save both Ola and Sasha. Okay. Yeah, basically it's an issue with the height. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to do a quick check. Because basically, what we're trying to go at is the fact that just the crime took place in the sh in the stage area, not the orca room. Objection! When lies are piled on top of each other, contradictions start to emerge. This time is no different. Are you saying there's some kind of inconsistency in my testimony? That's exactly what I'm saying. You claim that the victim was sent flying about 30 feet into the air. But the autopsy report shows the apparent cause of death to be from a 65-foot fall. What? In addition, your testimony a moment ago. You said at 3.30 a.m. on the 20th, there was still water in the orca pool. With the pool being 60 feet deep, there was only 30 feet between the water and the ceiling. If the pool was full of water, as you claimed, it would be impossible for the victim to fall about 60 feet... 65 feet, as the autopsy states. Ah! Mr. Rhymes claims he was in the orca pool room, so he could make these statements. But the truth must be he was at the show stage, just as Dr. Crab and Sasha testified. Hmm, I believe that brings us back around to the orca didn't do it. I didn't believe the witness's testimony from the outset. I am grateful to you, right, don't know. For shutting the witness up, as I thought, the only person who could have killed the victim is Sasha Buckler. That fact still remains, whether the witness was the one who tried to kill the orca or not. Son of a... Mr. Rives was right about one thing. His testimony was advantageous to our case. But pointing out the contradiction in his statement will only drive us into a corner. As Bosker Black will say, suspicion against Miss Buckler is now deepened. Uh-oh. If I don't do something fast, the judge is going to find Sasha guilty. But Mr. Wright, isn't there anything we can do? There has to be some way to prove Sasha's innocent. At a time like this, the thing to do is to turn my thinking around. And instead of trying to prove that Sasha couldn't have done it, I have to think about what made it possible for somebody else to have done it. As long as the crime scene is the Orca pool room, then Sasha is the only one who could have committed the crime. No need for pity or baldness. Just finish him off with a swift verdict. It appears the defense has no objections. Very well, I will give my verdict. Hold it! Your Honor, please hold off on that verdict. But you were so quiet, Mr. Wright. It was no it was a nice change of pace. Do you have something to say now? The defense has a counter-argument. You do? Hmph. <laughs> Pitiful! Such desperation! You look pale! Are you sure you're prepared to make this counter-argument? The worst of times are when a lawyer has to force their biggest smile. I'll never forget those words, no matter how many years go by. Even though it's probably just a bluff, I'll give it to them with a smile. What if the scene of the crime was somewhere else? The scene of the crime? Somewhere else? What? You're finding fault with the police investigation now? As I understand it, the prosecution's argument is as follows. 
The scene of the crime was the Orca pool room. Only the defendant and the victim entered that room when there was no water in the pool. Therefore, only the, the defendant could have committed the crime. That is correct. But if the scene of the crime was not the Orca pool room, then somebody other than the, than the defendant could have committed the crime. Uh, are you sure you know where you're going with this? We'll answer that question in the next episode, because I think that now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do as you want, and I'll see you next time. Bye.